2011 BMW M3 and it's the E93 body style convertible. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the next episode of Straight Six. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the next episode of Straight Six Auto Parts. Again, we're here, in California. Today we have 2011 BMW M3, and it's the E93 body style convertible. We picked up this car here local from San Diego, from Hobart, San Diego, actually, and it came to us just yesterday. And we actually found the owner already, like the previous owner. He told us that everything is good with the car, no issues whatsoever, just minor accident. And that's why the car got salvaged. So the car has 128,000 miles on it. The condition is pretty good. And also, as you can see, it's wrapped in some kind of nice black camo. camo. Rap is it a camo or it's it's not a camo, it's like the some kind of small pieces of camo thing which is yeah it's the camo black camo and it's shiny on the sun and it's like completely black during the night time. So let's go to the car and I will show you the details. And as you can see, this car has a lot, a lot, a lot of cool features. So the first one is the biggest one is the carbon fiber hood. The clear coat is kind of matte. So here is, as you can see, it's still shiny, it's gloss, and on top of it, it's just matte. We need to fix that thing. And here is the cool one, and on top of it, just the matte. And yes, let's get to the damage. So. We had the damage to the front wheel. The front wheel completely destroyed. The lower control arm was destroyed. We already swapped that. So now at least we can roll the car. At, we actually can we, we can even drive it. Uh, the front fender, door, just a big scratch along the whole side and the quarter panel and even touch the rear one a little bit in here. The wheel on the back is good and it's the 19 inches original M3 wheels. Then the other cool feature is carbon fiber mirror cups. And it's the original. I mean, it's the carbon fiber, not the fake one. Then the next one is carbon fiber splitters for the M3 only. I remember like a year ago, we used to sell those brand new and we don't have them anymore. Maybe it's actually one of ours. And a little bit damaged, but overall the bumper looks okay. Maybe a little bit of damage in here. No, it's actually pretty good. Just the fender, the bumper is still good. Little bit of scratches but we will probably remove the wrap and see how it's gonna be under it so this side fender is pretty good and as i also can see we have ecs tuning rotors it's the two pieces rotors which is pretty cool they should be light as i remember from the previous car that like two weeks ago we had them they're pretty light same mirror on this side original m3 mirror and with a little bit of damage to the corner right here carbon fiber everywhere it's just everywhere even on a door pen, door handle. I actually removed this one, why? Because there was no access to this, what's it called, key thing. Because it was just a cover and the battery is dead and I had to lock the car, so I removed that. But we still have it on the other side. So initially the car was gray, as we can see. And if I will open the door, yes, you can see the car was gray. And that's the wrap in here. They did a pretty good job. Before we will get to the inside of the car, let's keep going as far as from outside rear wheels are good yes everything is good no damage to it tail lights they tinted again it's just a wrap so we can take it out 
we can take out film from here that's the carbon fiber rear diffuser and it's uh, it's got the stock exhaust as i can see from here this tail light is good as well so the next thing that i noticed they wrapped the chrome trim around the glass around the windows in here into just a matte black and yes that was the same door handle on the other side so i had to remove this portion i think we should have it inside uh yeah while we're here let's get inside we have black interior it's the napa leather original m3 interior this seat in yeah it's okay the condition is yeah it's acceptable m3 sign in here m3 sign in here oh yes also carbon fiber trim complete set for the convertible with cic navigation dct transmission so on the back we have that portion of the trim and look yeah it's pretty clean car napa leather everywhere oh and also this is the best sound system that you can get on e90 i mean e90 e92 e93 that's the individual sound system that's available for us market it's available only on m for canadian cars i know you can get it on 335 like we had it uh, half a year ago on one of our 335s that came from canada so the next cool thing is steering wheel it's just fat just look i cannot like even handle it it's so big it's huge yeah it's definitely up to you guys but i would i'm not big fan of that kind of fat wheel yeah alcantara is nice in here but this portion i think is too big for me yes yes that's the problem for all napa seats a lot a lot a lot of scratches to the leather because of your freaking jeans that you're wearing or something in the back pocket yes it's not that big of a deal in here and in here but here you can definitely see it damn and m sign logo right here cool 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 everything cool in the back from this side everything clean and also we have this armrest that you can move this portion and uh, it's like two pieces armrest it's unique for the m3 only carbon fiber in here as well just handle oh it's moving maybe we should put it back where do we have carbon fiber carbon fiber in here carbon fiber on the door cards in here it's the complete set and i should say they did pretty good job i don't see any kind of imperfections on it so yeah whoever did that like so what else we have in here in m3 this trim is unique for the m3 only why because it has those buttons in here and the transmission shifter how hard it's gonna shift then what else ah uh, yeah a lot a lot a lot of carbon fiber like everywhere headliner of course it's black because we have a convertible and it's it can be only black for the convertibles so all the convertibles black and it's just a leg regular not the napa next cool thing is cic navigation since we have 2019 which means it's gonna be cic as always there is some scratches yeah you can definitely see it some scratches to the screen because it doesn't have a protection in here some of them like the old version i, I believe 2008 9 10 they have that some kind of protection glass in here that's covering the screen so it's not getting scratched like this but i've heard some guys fix that thing i don't know how but they did it the next cool thing is cluster unfortunately it will not fit for the e90 335 what's wrong with that sound just it's not just plug it in so you can probably program it and install it on your 335 but it's not like plug and play i should say it's pretty cool to sit in those seats like they have bigger bolsters on sides than a sport version for, from 335 it's pretty comfortable and it's the napa leather super soft original shifters from uh, m3 this one is down left one is down right right one is up oh yes that sound system why it's so i mentioned that sound system because i think as of my experience this is the best sound system the cleanest sound system that i've heard uh on bmws and it's the like the loudest i, I should say you cannot just even handle it it's it's too loud especially on convertibles i don't know on coupes oh yeah on coupes as well coupe and convertible they so loud and it's like just super 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 clean sound i like it more than uh, on f30 i like it more than um bang and olofsson on f series i like it more than uh, powers and wilkinson on 7 series bmw this one as of for me 
this one is way better than those. That's why it's so special for me. As I mentioned before, the car has 128,000 miles, but for some reason, car was on parking over the night and you can see there is some drops of oil. So I'm not going to start it. I will not try to start it. We will get the car inside, drain the oil. We'll see how much oil we have left inside of the engine and then we will put the new oil in it and start it again and this engine takes i believe 10 w60 oil i think it eight quarts i think as i remember yes this car this is the m3 this is the v8 engine naturally aspirated engine no turbos no bullshit it might not be that fun as 335 when you're pushing a lot of PSI, but it's the V8. It's just different animal, different game. And let's go under the hood and I will actually show it to you what's going on under the hood. And then we can probably get it inside. Ta-da! So, pretty clean as you can see in here. Yes, no oil. Usually this paint is peeling off, but on this engine it looks fresh. What's that? 8.8 .8 liter? Yeah, 8.0. Oh, wow, there. Wow, is it? I hope it's just from the top. Oh yeah, it's just from the top, so it's it's not big of a deal. I thought it's just the color of the oil. No, luckily no. So we will need nine quarts of oil tomorrow, probably, because we're gonna go home right now and uh, be back tomorrow. Yes, carbon fiber hood, as you can see in here, and it's the Cybon. Cybon? Cybon? How do you, how do you pronounce it? Warning: off-road use only hood pins required and it doesn't have pins i mean like racing pins basically we cannot drive it and on the, we're not even planning it we will definitely test it tomorrow part it out it's not gonna be our project car we will just part it out and get you all of those parts meanwhile we have our project sitting behind me we still have it available if you guys interested, DM us on Instagram, we will get you updates. Maybe by the time this video is going to be up, it's going to be sold already. And also, we have our the best of the best 2020 M4 Heritage Package. Let me show you those nice wheels that we put on it. Just for now, just for now. Yes, this is the best color of the wheels. This is the best color of the car. So at this point, I'm going to be looking for the red interior also, because right now, as you can see, it's black. We need to probably buy another M4 with red interior from the auction. Of course, ideal case would be for us if that would be heritage, but it's just, I think it's just impossible to find one at the auction with the red interior, the one we need, it just... So we will probably be okay with the just the red competition interior for the F82 m4 that we're gonna put on it with that being said let's go and get this car inside we will see what's going on with the engine and what's going on under the car why it's leaking oil let's go inside and by the way guys here is what else we have in here that's the ceramic brakes from f80 m4 that came from 2015 with 15,000 miles on it, almost brand new. Even the pads is still good. Front's got some wear on it, but rear's like brand new. And look at the size of the caliper and look at the size of the rotor. This is the front one and this is the rear. Okay, so we got the car up on the lift and uh, let's have a look what we have from under it. It was leaking oil somewhere from the oil pan and as I can see there is no damage to the oil pan, just it's leaking from here from that bolt. Probably we'll swap it, we should have another one. The S65 engine has got two draining bolts, this one and that one. Since it was leaking oil, we will change the oil just to make sure that we have enough oil to start the car and then we'll start it. Okay, so we put some oil in it, two of those. And now we're ready to start the car. Let's see if we can start this. I think we don't have enough power. Yeah, let's put the other drum box, the second one. Okay, so we got two of them ready. Let's see if we can start it now. 
Hold on. So it didn't start for the first time and we realized that we don't have gas at all. Yes, yeah, so no gas in it. Oh no, we have some gas. But for some reason it's showing us the fuel pump is not pumping the gas. Huh. Maybe the connection fell off uh, of the on the cast. That's the common problem for all of them. Let's check it and uh, we'll get back. Okay, so looks like we ready to start it. We did we hardwired the fuel pump because we, it was not working for some reason for the issue between the cast. Uh, I mean engine engine uh, computer and the key. So we hardwired it and now we are ready to start it. We'll see if it's gonna start. Oh wow. So for some reason it's uh, cutting the gas. That's with uh, no throttle. And then if we start it, and then a little bit of throttle. Plug it. Yeah. Smells good though, it's ethanol. <laughs> so we're happy with that M3 engine is running and we got another delivery here. That's the 2011 135. Yeah, you're good, Jimmy. Woo, sheesh! Dying on exhaust. You're good, Jimmy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're good, keep going, keep going. Good, 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 good. I'm wondering what if it's got the same problem as with the, with the previous car. But at least this one's got the Dying on exhaust on it. And look what we got in here. It caught on fire. The harness on the engine. Luckily, they prevented it. So the car is still good. The engine is still be good. I mean, the engine is good. It's it still runs. So we're all good on this car. It's gonna be the next part out. Not the next one, but sometime soon because we have huge lineup in here and more behind. And then this one and that one. This is the DCT transmission MT5 engine. That's the manual transmission all-wheel drive pop engine and uh, for now we'll just go ahead and do this car it's the m3 we just tested let's do it so we started working on the interior and here is what we found something cool that's the buff sound subwoofers all the speakers they're regular but the subwoofer buff sound because they the car has individual sound system and there is no reason to replace the Speakers, they good as they good from the factory, but the subwoofers, even if they are good from the factory, this one is way better, more fancy. So far, everything else is talk. We didn't find anything else like something like cool. Interior is almost whole thing out. Front seats, rear seats, door cards, and yes, that's the oh that one. Only on individual sound system you have the silver cream around it. And where do we have speakers? Somewhere in those boxes. Oh yeah, right here. So it's orange and uh, green at the bottom. That's the individual sound system. And that's the speakers from the back. They silver. Looks cool, looks fancy. So yeah, we'll keep going on this M3 and we'll see what else we can find. Gonna be the day two and we already put the car on the lift so uh, we got the front bumper out and here is what we will need to do now. We will need to heat it up and take that wrap out and here is the actual color of the car. Yeah, piece by piece and we will have to do it just to get to the actual paint. And here is what else I found. ECS tuning rotors in the front. Pretty good condition. Stock suspension in here, a little bit of damage. Maybe it's, yeah, it's the damage to the, to the strut front. And the same, not the same, but the ECS tuning rotors light, lightweight on the back as well. And EDC suspension on the back. So that's as far as what I found right now. So we'll take the wheels out and we're gonna lift the car up and we'll see what else we can find. Let's have a look what we have from under the car. So I already swapped this control arm in here 
because this is the original M3 control arm and it's different. This is just the regular 335. This one, that one. As far as damage, I don't see anything besides this one. The fender liner got damaged in here and the wheel got pushed to the back, to the back wall of it. What else we have in here? So, just the straight pipes in here. They usually straight, like, I think those pipes should be straight and it's, they, they did it even more straight. I don't know what was the reason, what was the issue with those pipes, why they did it. Everything stuck in here, everything stuck on the back as well. And we're gonna have to drop the whole thing out to sell it as a swap because it's the DC transmission and a lot of people looking to do the swap on the 335. Because this differential has got the LSD limited, I mean, this is the limited slip differential. And the stock muffler in here. Everything stock. Okay, so let's keep going. I don't see any major damage. I don't see any other upgrades as far as like aftermarket parts, only the ECS tuning rotors, and that's that's about it. And actually, the front end of M3 is unique. Everything is unique in here compared to 335. The core support is unique. The re reinforcement is carbon fiber. It's super light version of it. We got the oil cooler on the passenger side and we should have... Oh, that's the air duct going to the air box on the driver's side. Headlight brackets, they're unique as well. So basically the whole front end is unique. Even the subframe is unique for the M3 because it's got like the additional extensions in here and a couple more bolts in here. And yes, I forgot to mention we have a carbon fiber diffuser in here on the back. And also I just realized we have a buck springs on the back. What about in the front? We don't see it in the front, but we will take a look once we remove Oh yeah, it's the same, right here. So, Avax Springs. Let's keep going and we'll drop the rear end first, and then the front subframe and take the control scope now. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the end for, of the day two and we pretty much prepare everything in the front as you can see. The only thing that's left is to drop off the engine and the car almost gonna be done and also remove the fender from this side and basically that's it. As you can see, we have the whole rear end on the table in here. Limited slip differential put together with the subframe, control arms, axles and everything. The only thing we, we kept, that's the ASR, uh, Oh, ECS tuning uh, rotors and everything else is still on it. Here at the bottom we have headlights with the headlight brackets. The headlight brackets unique for the M3. That's the air ducts and um, airbag springs, stock shocks on the back. We have only three wheels in here. The factory M3 wheels and one of them from the 4 Series 435, which is just like to you to roll the car. And then here's the interior, the whole set of the Napa leather interior from the M3 convertible. We got the M3, not the M3 just the M logo on it. A little bit of wear in here and some scratches at the driver's side. Everything else looks good. The door panels with the silver trim, the rear one for the individual or Harman Kardon sound system because it's got the tweeter in here on the back. So rear cushions, that back portion, that's the driver's side door panels as well. So the, that's gonna be the, actually we should have the yeah, that's gonna be the complete set off of the interior Napa leather. Whoever's got the convertible, this is your chance. And here is we have a lot of random stuff. That's actually not from M3, that's something else. But this bumper from M3, the, the wrap came out pretty good, so I don't see any damage. Oh, yeah, just a little bit in here, couple of scratches. It's, yeah, pretty pretty deep, but it's fixable, definitely. Taps is still good, so all good. The front radiator support, those rotors. So yeah, let's go home today and we'll be back tomorrow, drop off the engine and uh, that's gonna be done. We'll take a look. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, so we have Turner with Turner Motor Motorsport, the uh, police, brand new alternator in here. Overall look, engine look, looks good in here, as well as from the back, from the bottom. Let's go home right now and we'll be back tomorrow. Okay guys, we're coming to the end. This is the, like the third day we're working on this M3. It took us a little bit longer than usual car, other than 335, because we're removing the whole rear end and we get the engine a little bit different and all of that little bit extra, I would say. So we have the engine out and here how it looks like. Have some damage right here on the, on the engine mount, but it's all fixable. We'll remove that thing, but the subframe is still good, still intact. Of course, cutlass downpipes, they look like hot, but not, they're not. DCT transmission, 
for the V8 engine, then on this side we have pretty much nothing the same, uh, just the exhaust manifold, everything looks stock in here except of, as I mentioned before, those pulleys. Actually this only pulley replaced and the alternator is completely brand new. So, the engine looks cool, happy with the condition of the engine. And here is our car, that's how it looks like. We're not gonna need to remove this one. The washer field is damaged as well, the fender is damaged. And the uh, interior is empty, it's all in here. Here is our rear end, we're gonna sell it as a whole thing. A rear bumper in here with the carbon fiber diffuser, probably we'll need to remove it. That's the fender, we will need to unwrap it. It's gonna look the same as this one. I think it's the A52 or A22 color code. We can actually check it right now. Oh damn, it's supposed to be on the hood. It's not the F-series, see it's the E-series. On E-series, we don't have it in here. On F-series, we have it in here, the color code. So yeah, that's how car look like. And it's gonna go to the junkyard. We're gonna fill that up with uh, some trash parts. And it's ready to go. So once we take this one out, finish the engine. Actually, also forgot to mention, we already sold the hood from M3, so it's no longer available. And also, I'm looking at the exhaust in here, and I think it might be, you might be able to fit it in here, cut it in here, cut it in here, and fit it on your 335, so we will have four exhaust. That's what we're gonna do. We'll cut it in here and see what we can do. The next car in line is going to be the nice one. Hot again, as always. So it's the M235 with a nice wing on it, forged bear, no wheels, no cats, no cats, no dogs. As always, gray mirrors, as I mentioned in the previous video, doesn't matter what color car you have, the M235 they always comes with a gray mirror. And it's actually half of way through, like it dismantled. We will need to take out all of these parts. <laughs> it's closed. Yeah, so this is gonna be the next car. One wheel is damaged. So let's take that one out, bring this one inside and we will keep going. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And if you need any parts, DM us on Instagram. Instagram, straight ticks, auto parts. We will be waiting for your request. That's gonna be it for today. Until the next time.